Laura from the Prairie Equestrian back again, and this week I have a tack haul for you guys. So this is kind of like a new horse, new tack kind of thing, but also a collective tack haul that I've collected over, well, I guess since December. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff, you can't see it. It's out of frame, but it's on my right side here, there's a bunch of stuff. Before we get started, I just want to do a quick little disclaimer. All of this I either bought with my own money or got gifted from like Christmas. Uh, and I am in no way bragging. I am just excited about all this stuff and just wanted to show you what I got. So, let's get into it. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is a box. <laughs> Yay, a box! <laughs> it's from Greenhawk. So, I got a bunch of things from Greenhawk that I needed. So, first thing is this lunge line. I've been... I almost fell over. Um, I've been using a friend's lunch line and I really wanted my own and hers is purple and um, I just figured black goes with everything so this is my new lunch line. I haven't taken it out of the package yet so you guys get to see that. Um, comes in this fancy little bag in case you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah here is the lunch line. But it's even got a thing at the end. I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, here's my lunch line. So I got this from Greenhawk. It's Shedro brand. I'll link all the um, things I got in the description below um, if you want to check them out. I did get a couple of things used, um, so I probably won't be able to put those ones, but I can put everything that I got brand new um, in the description below, so go check those out. So yeah, so this is my lunch line. It's got a Nice little snap here, made of nylon. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Put it back in its little container for safekeeping. Okay, so that's the first thing for the green hawk. And then, not many people will get these, um, but we got some hoof nippers. Uh, my dad and I are, we, uh, like to do our horse's feet ourselves, um, just because it's, like, more cost effective and we like to, we like to do that and just learn about how to do it. Um, so, these are some hoof nippers. Um, so yeah, these are the super hoof nippers from Greenhawk. Nice and sharp. Um, so funny story, actually. We had pretty much the same thing as these, but they were red. We still have them. But the one side was not sharp, so like this side wasn't sharp. Um, so they were cattle hoof nippers, and no wonder we were having trouble. Um, so yeah, we decided to get hoof nippers for horses so we could actually get it done right. So there's that. And then going along with that theme, if I can find them, it, found it, is hoof knife. So we have been learning a bunch about um, hoof trimming, so here's a hoof knife that we got, can you see that? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Um, all this stuff was from Greenhawk, by the way. All this stuff in this box. Um, so this is a little hoof knife that we got. So we got this to make sure we're doing our hooves correctly and we're doing lots of research on how to do them correctly. So yeah, that's our hoof knife that we got. 
Again, all these things will be in the description. All the things I can find anyway will be in the description below. If you want to check any of them out. Okay, and the last thing from Greenhawk are this pair of gloves. I've been needing some new winter gloves for riding. I have a perfectly good pair of um, summer gloves, which I also got from Greenhawk a few years ago, and they've been holding up really well. They have this thin slate inside them, and they have a nice grippy um, uh, here on the fingers and on the hands. If I put them on, you can probably hear, put it on the wrong hand, <laughs> um, can hear, take them on. Um, it's like, it's like fake leather, kind of. It's just really squeaky, so that means it's like really, really nice. Yeah, it has this Velcro bit on the back so you can adjust it a little bit. So yeah, that's everything I got from Greenhawk in this box. But I got another thing from Greenhawk, another couple of things from Greenhawk. Um, so we're kind of going small and then ending up with the biggest things. So, where did they go? They are way at the bottom. So the next thing I got was a pair of breeches. I've always wanted a navy pair of breeches. And these are the Elation Pull-Ons. Um, also from Greenhawk. And yeah, they're a really, really nice navy. I like the little button they have. There we go. Um, so yeah, they're just knee patch, just normal knee patch breeches. Um, that's all I've really ever had. Um, I'm not a super fancy person when it comes to riding clothes. But yeah, I've tried these on. I haven't really had a chance to use them yet because it's been so cold, like I said. But yeah, they feel really good. They're the same brand as my other breeches. I have three other pairs of breeches, one a bit bigger size because I didn't know what size I was and two are this size. I have the Mocha. They're out of stock. I think they're not making those anymore. I have the Mocha in my size. I have the Duff, so the Tan in my size. And I have, I forget what it's called, but it's like a chocolate brown in a bigger size. And that actually works perfect for me because then I can layer stuff. So that's perfect. So yeah, there's navy breeches. And then, uh, this grooming kit I got. So a few, thing, a few of these things I've had for a while, like this bag, I've had it for years, but never had a chance to use it. Um, so most of this came in like a grooming kit um, together. Uh, so this hoof pick, I used it recently, I didn't clean it very good, oops. Um, but yeah, it's just a plain hoof pick. I really like the ones with the brushes, um, cause then you can just pick and then just flip it over and, and do brushing. Um, so there's that. Oh, and then there's stuff so packed in here. Comb that came in that same thing, it's just a normal comb. I used it so it's a little bit dirty. And I have this brush. This is an Oster brush. Got it for Christmas from my parents. So that did not come in this grooming kit because it doesn't match exactly, but it's blue, which is Higgy's color, so that's fine. And I found these pair of scissors, and they're really good. And I had them at my house for like, geez, 10 years or something? Well, I don't think it was that long. Five years maybe? But yeah, they're just a normal pair of scissors that I decided to put with it because it literally almost exactly matches everything. And if you don't know this about me, I'm a huge fan of Matchy Matchy. <laughs> um, I watch this Esme a lot and she's been getting me into the Matchy Matchy. Yeah, so then in that pocket, the last thing in there is these braiding bands. Oh, these are also from Greenhawk. Um, oh, it's rubber bands, I don't know what the brand is. They're brown, because Higgy's tail is brown. But the funny thing is, is he has a red mane and a brown tail. 
it's really cool <laughs> two-tone um yeah these were pretty cheap these are actually from i think they're for green hawk i can't remember um but yeah anyway so then this is my body brush that i also got for christmas it's made of goat hair and it's so so soft um and i had to do a little diy project here um it's like sewed it because my hands are small so now it fits my hand perfectly i can use it better so yeah it's super soft i think they got this from lamley's and then this is a dandy brush i believe it's like a little softer than a dandy brush but it's not quite as hard uh softer not quite as soft <laughs> as a body brush so i'm not sure exactly but like it's one of the two or in between it's not quite so soft um yeah i gotta do some diy work on this one too because it's like way too big for my hand but this came in the grooming set as well so love that this is a curry comb that came in that set just your average plastic curry comb um, I don't like these ones so much because, again, my hands are tiny. Look at that. There's so much room. Um, so then luckily it came with this. So this is a, this is a rubber curry comb. Again, it's a little bit dirty, sorry. But I know it's smaller, but it fits my hand just right. Um, so yeah, I love this one a lot more than that other one. And I got all this at UFA. Um, but they also have it at Lamley's and stuff. So this is the, I'm pretty sure this is the daddy brush. It looks like a daddy brush to me. Um, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but they're, like, see, this one is, like, a little bit softer. Whereas this one is a bit, yeah, so this one is much stiffer than this one is. Or, I don't know. This one is, this one's got finer hairs. And this one's got coarser hairs. And this one's got less hair. This one's got more. I don't know. Can you guys tell me? I would love to know if anyone actually knows what the difference is between these two. So the front and the back. If anyone can tell me the difference in what each of these is used for, that would be very appreciated. Oh yes. Um, this is my face brush. I've had this for a while, for a few years, but I figured it's... I should have cleaned all these. Um, but yeah, I've had this for a long time. It's actually starting to get faded a little bit, but it still works perfectly fine. And I had to write my name on it, so I remembered, and people remembered it was mine. But I figured it goes with the blue theme, so... Yeah, anything else in here? I can't remember. So yeah, this is, oh, and also this thing has, I think I got it at Greenhawk as well. It's a little bit torn here, but not a big deal. Um, it also has like snap things that can go around your waist. So it'd be like, like this. And you can have all your stuff on you at the same time. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that was my grooming kit. So that goes over here. Hopefully nothing falls out. Okay, so next thing. This is this next batch of things it's all from it's the store called pv mart um so higgins has been needing a new halter um because the one he came with doesn't fit him and as you guys have seen if you follow me on instagram if you would have seen my story i got a cob size which is what they told me he was and it was like at the end of it was at the second hole here, 
and at the last hole on the nose band, so it didn't fit him. Um, so I had to take that back. And also, it came in the wrong color. <sighs> so annoyed about that. <laughs> but yeah, so I found this. It's padded. It's a weaver halter. Love weaver halters. I've never had one, but they are really, really nice, as I found out. So yeah, it's padded there, and also on the nose band, if you see that. This is his average size. He's a full size. Um, I love the, the gold hardware. And then I found a lead rope that exactly matches it. Well, almost exactly. Like, look at that. That is so close. You can't tell me that it's not so close. Black and blue. <laughs> it's a bruise. Um, but yeah, I just love this halter. Like, it's so nice on him. Uh, so yeah. So it's that one. And then I got him a rope halter. I just tied this up because it was hanging. Um, so it came with this, it's not exactly matchy, but at least it's the same color, it's blue. So this is a weaver um, rope halter with a lead rope attached. I love the colors on this. It's like so pretty. Yeah, so it's like that. So there's that. And it's got a nice little leather thing at the end. These two I got from Facebook. I'm starting my saddle path collection, guys. Um, this is a Shedro original, I guess. Um, I think it's at like Caribbean Sea. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I love the detailing, like on the edge. Look at that. It's like, um, it's white here and then green here. And it's the Shedro brand, so it's got the Shedro like that. So there's the one, and then this is the other pad I got. These two came together. Um, so this is a bit of a different pad. I've never had this kind of pad before. I've always just had the Shedra pads. This is called a Century pad. It's mint green. Century. There we go. Yeah, it's Century pad in mint green. I love the design on it. Super pretty. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. So it's like a dark navy blue on the outside here. And then it's a mix of like a light mint blue kind of grainy. And then a pinkish purple. And then that same color navy blue kind of purple. I really like this pad. Can't wait to try these out. Okay, so then the next thing I have is slightly more exciting. Get it. Probably tell by the noises making what it is. New bridle for Higgins! <laughs> so, this is from Greenhawk. The bit is the only thing that is not new. I do still want a bit. Yeah, I'm still looking for the right one. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm looking for an egg butt double joint with a lozenge in the middle. That's what I'm looking for in a size five inch. So then, I really love this bridle. So, few features. It's padded, like everywhere. Like the brow band is padded, so squishy and nice. Nose band is padded, and I really wanted something with this anatomical headpiece. It's got this thing at the top. Does anybody know what this is for? I don't know what that's for. And then it's got the fancy stitching front, and on the nose band, there we go. Okay, so yeah, there's that, and then it's got the little, it's a Mondega bridle. It's got the little M there, it's just makes it really classy. And it's a little bit of a U-shaped brow band, I really like it. Um, it's the Maricino bridle. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for you to go get it, if you want. And another thing I really love, is the buckle here. You guys all know that hook and stud thing that you always rip, like trying to get the bit off. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I love this. And then the reins have the same thing. And I don't know why, but these rain stoppers are really cool and I always thought these looked so classy. And the reins that came with them are these cotton web reins, which is really what I was wanting. There we go. But yeah, it's 
really nice bridal. So then this, we're leading up to the most exciting thing. So this is a girth, as you can probably tell. He's a size 48. I got this off Facebook Marketplace, sorry. Um, barely used, it's padded anatomical girth, um, elastic both ends. It's the Mondega brand, so it matches my bridal like exactly. Okay, so we've come to the last thing. The last thing is kind of a package of things. So, another saddle pad. It's a white one this time. It's called a Can Pro. It's the brand of it. Like that. It's Canadian. Um, I love the little swirls on it. Look at that. That's so cute. And it's not dirty at all. And I love the little piping thing on the uh, on the outside. It's really cute. So yeah, I got this in a package with something else. So I also got this in the package. It's a breastplate. Didn't really need it, but the lady just threw it in because she's being nice. It's a little dirty. Need to clean it. Nice elastic. Um, yeah, it's brown to match all my tack. I really wanted black everything, but then Higgy looks really good in brown. Um, and I couldn't find most of the stuff I wanted in black. So I figured I'd just go for brown, dark brown. It kind of looks the same when you're far away anyway. So, yeah, there's that. Haven't gotten to try it on. Last thing. You guys. New horse. Need a new saddle. So, my old saddle does not fit Higgins because he is thick. He needs like a medium wide to wide girth and Sparkle needed like a narrow girth. It's like a five inch girth. So, so this is a Wintech saddle. Here's the cover. <laughs> so it's a pro jump. I was looking for an all purpose, but this is basically, um, the seat is more of an all purpose kind of seat. The lady said she used it more for, cause it was kind of all purpose um, design. Uh, so yeah, this is the pro jump. Underneath here, it says that. Don't know if you can see, it's an adjustable gullet, which I really wanted because he has a really bad top line right now. Comes with stirrup leathers and Steuben stirrups, I think. Yes, Steuben. Okay. Kind of see, yeah, Steuben right there. Steuben stirrups. My old saddle was a Steuben, so I was really happy to have Steuben stuff. So yeah. I really wanted a black saddle. I really wanted a black saddle. Um, I was hoping for the Wintech 500 in black, but this thing is really nice too. And it's so soft and padded. And I'm not planning on doing any showing um, anytime soon, so this is perfect for me. There's just a little bit of wear, like right here. It's like not a big deal because you sit on that. And. For those of you who don't have much experience with Wintex, they have adjustable knee blocks. It's all Velcro, you can take them off. There's one on the back too. Like that. I haven't really played around, played around much to see where I like them. I've only actually ridden in this once and that's when my saddle fitter came. Um, Cause right now in the winter, I prefer riding bareback if I can, but yeah. So, that is everything I got. <laughs> That's gonna be long. Um, so yeah, this is everything I got. Very excited, very grateful for everything I've got. So glad I was able to, ooh, <laughs> that's inside out. So glad I was able to afford all of this. And so glad that it will be put to good use on my new horse. Um, so yeah. I still struggle with saddle covers because I never had one before. Um, 
So yeah, I'm very excited about about all this. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye!